investigation is still very active. In fact, detectives just wrapped up a day's worth of collecting evidence all over the crime scene. That includes tearing apart the roof and attic area of the home where the shooting took place. WBZ's Mike LaCrosse is live in Yarmouth tonight at police headquarters. Mike? Paula, once the defendant was inside of the courtroom, more than a hundred police officers and Commonwealth versus Thomas Lantanowicz. 29 year old Thomas Lantanowicz barely lifting his head, answering to a murder charge in Barnstable District Court today. He's accused of shooting and killing Yarmouth police officer Sean Gannon and injuring his canine narrow. It really isn't for him, it's, it's for us. Close to a hundred of Gannon's fellow officers filled the courtroom's benches. But they needed to see it. They needed to let them know that we are here. The Yarmouth police chief still in disbelief. Gannon, who he treated like a son, is gone. The chief describing the late officer as the Tom Brady of the department. He died doing what he loved to do. And that is working with his dog, helping his brother and officers, and protecting all of you. The Cape and Islands District Attorney says Latanowich shot Officer Gannon in the attic of this home on Blueberry Lane in Marston's Mills Thursday afternoon as officers trying to execute an arrest warrant. Sky Eye over the scene today where firefighters were cutting holes in the roof. Later, detectives could be seen pulling apart insulation. Sources telling the WBZI team the suspect disassembled the gun and hit it in different areas of the house. He is going to be so sorely missed. And we have a devastated community, family, and police department. The chief and DA held back today on commenting on Latanowicz's criminal past. Meanwhile, he's due back in court on June 26th. We're live in Yarmouth tonight. I'm Mike LaCrosse, WBZ News.